Hi, Pretty Central. I promised to make a video detailing how to get WebOS 2.1 running on a Sprint Pre Minus using Ubuntu. Um, I apologize in advance for my voice. Hopefully, this video will be informative um, and comes out halfway decent. Um, throughout the process, I'm going to have the pages that give you the steps for how to do the doc to open so that you can sort of see where um, the information is and to sort of help demystify the process for how to get this up and running. Um, right, what I have up right now is the WebOS Internals wiki page from MetaDoctor. Since we are running Linux, we're going to go straight from step one, installing the required software. Um, so the first thing is to get your terminal up. I already have one up here. Um, the second thing is to install Git Core. Um, you can just copy the text here and paste it into your terminal or you can just type it out. Um, if you press the tab button when you're typing stuff in the terminal, it will auto-complete, so you don't have to type quite so much. Um, it'll ask you for your pseudo password. Um, now, see, for me, it's going to say that Git Core is already the newest version because I have it installed already. If you don't have it installed, then um, it'll go ahead and install for you. The next thing to do is to pull down the MetaDoctor folder from Git. Um, here, you can just copy the um the text and then to paste it into the terminal you do control shift b and then just press enter now for me it's going to say fatal destination path already exists because well the folder already exists i've done this before um for you will go ahead and create the folder and pull down all the files that are located in the folder including the scripts that we're going to be using to automate this process um, the fourth thing to do is to install patch, um, another shortcut for the terminal, as if you press up, it'll go through the history of your command. So you can just go up to where you installed git core, erase it, and write patch. Now for me it's going to say the same thing, that patch is the newest version because I've already installed it. So now that you've done that, um, got those basic things installed on the terminal, the fifth step is to install Java. Um, the wiki tells you how to do it, so I'm not going to go um, into how to do that here. Um, it says it should be pretty simple, so I'm going to trust you to be able to do it yourselves. Um, the next thing, if you don't have it installed already, is to install Palm Novacom software. Um, if you go to the linked Palm developer page, scroll down until you get to SDK, click on that. You're going to see here the download SDK button. And then I'll give you the instructions for how to install everything, go through all the steps, you know, they're pretty simple, pretty easy to understand step by step. Um, once you get to step five, you have the option of installing just Novacom or going ahead and installing the SDK as well. Um, I would install the SDK, that way you have access to things like Palm install, um, to install apps from the terminal um, without having to use WebOS Quick Install, but if that's not of interest to you, you don't have to install it. So, right, back to the Meta Doctor. So now we have the Meta Doctor folder all up and running. Um, you can check it out. Um, I'm just going to open up Gnome Do right here. And it'll pull me to it. And just want to give everybody a glimpse of what this folder looks like. What you have, um, are you build, and that's where the doctor that you make is going to be located at once we get finished. Downloads is where the doctors that we're going to be pulling files from. Um, are located. As you can see here, I have the Sprint Doctor, the Verizon, the Sprint 1.45 Doctor, where we're going to be pulling the, well, the world of script will be pulling the Palm Build info from. I have the Rest of the World 2.1 Doctor for Pre Pluses that we're going to be using to make the actual Meta Doctor, and it has the Verizon Wireless 2.01. Doctor for Verizon Pre 2s, where we're going to pull the CDMA firmware from to update it since the rest of the world model doesn't have any CDMA uh, firmware in it. The, um, the script is going to download these doctors. If you already have these doctors, you can just put them in the downloads directory. Make sure you name them as they're named here. Um, if you can't see it that well, I'll type it up on the Free Central post when I, when I post the video. Um, the other thing is, here are the scripts that we're going to be using. Um, we're just going to be using one in particular, the 
Meta Sprint minus Meta Sprint Pre 2.1. That's what we're going to be using. Um, and then this is the make file. We're not going to be filling with that because we're going to be doing the automated process. But you can read through that file. Um, it shows you some options that are in the pro the, in the file. Um, that in case you ever want to make it yourself, you sort of have be aware of what you can do with it. And these are going to be the palm build info and the palm build info unmasked that we're going to be coming to later um, once we flash the doctor onto our pre's and we're ready to to put the 2.1 build info back on there. Um, so apps will recognize that we're running 2.1 and not 1.4.5. Okay, so you can go ahead and close that out. Now, at this moment, we're done with the um, Meta Doctor page, so we're going to move to the WebOS 2 upgrade page. So, what it tells you here is to prepare your Palm profile. So, if you're on 1.4.5 now, um, go into your backup app, set your backup to all, you know, pop up with a confirmation saying, do you want to turn backup off and delete your Palm profile? Um, click yes. Um, if you don't have the Palm Profile, uh, if you don't have 1.4.5 running right, one, right, running right now, um, you can go ahead and hope that your 1.4.5 um, profile carries on through and doesn't give you a sign uh, sign in failed error. Um, if it does, then you'll have to doctor back to 1.4.5 and turn off that backup app. So that's step two. Step three is to run the device specific meta doctor script. So you can just come here, go ahead and I'm just going to copy that, and then we're going to click back to our terminal here, and control shift B, paste, now enter. Now when I press enter, I already have the doctors that we're going to be using installed, so it's not going to download those doctors for me. If you don't have those doctors, then it will download those doctors for you. Okay, well we're going to press enter. Sorry, I'm not in the MetaDoctor directory. <laughs> okay, I'm in my default um, home directory. So, um, just cd MetaDoctor to get over to your MetaDoctor directory. Um, and then do the command. Now it's going to start building through. So now you see it goes through the process and removes um, any previous builds that you had there. Um, it's going to move your doctor files to the correct location. It's going to go through, it's going to get your firmware out and your palm build and, and whatnot. Um, and then once it sort of gets through the end, it's going to automatically pop up the WebOS doctor. Once that pops up, you want to make sure you have your um, pre plugged up um, so you can go ahead and run it um, from the doctor. So hopefully they'll hurry up and pop up before my battery dies on this camera. <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize it was low when I started my mistake. Um, and so once this um, gets started, um, what what this doctor will be doing is it's going to use the 1.4.5 build info from the Sprint Doctor, which is why it downloaded the Sprint Doctor, um, and put that in your into your device so that the Palm server thinks that you're a, a Palm a pre plus running 1.4.5 even though you actually have 2.1 and that's going to allow you to get your PDK apps in your catalog it allows you to buy um, apps the only thing it doesn't allow you to do is to download um, 2.0 only apps um, Rod said there were less than five um, the only two I know of at the moment are voice memos and music player remix um, so uh, if you really want those apps you might want to talk to the developers about releasing a 1.4.5 marked version to the um, web feeds. Um, Dan mentioned he might do that for music player remix if enough people ask. So, you know, shoot him a message on Twitter or something. Um, the next thing they'll be doing is he'll, well, I don't know if it's the next thing, but one of the other things they'll be doing is um, pulling the CDMA firmware from, from the Verizon doctor. Um, putting that into the WebOS tar, the results. Um, so your texts and your calls and all that good stuff will work and you're not getting messages about call drops and text is not being delivered. Um, and yeah, so probably a couple more minutes on that. 
Okay, um, sorry for the cuts it just occurred in that video there. Um, my battery died, so I had to recharge it up for a little bit. Um, but now the, the, um, the Meta Doctor script has finished, so, um, the doctor has popped up automatically. Now that we're here, um, you'll see you have your options presented for language. Um, I'll come on down, click, pick English, United States, click next. Um, oh, oops, confirm English. Okay, um, a South Palm license agreement, it'll tell you what the tool does. Um, one thing to mention is that, um, make sure you've backed up everything on your, um, on your USB partition, um, before you do the doctor process. Um, your music, documents, photos, um, save or store basically anything on the device that you know you'll die if you lost. Um, the doctor, um, for me, it did erase um, my USB partition, but I backed that up all the time, so it's not a big deal. Definitely make sure you back yours up before you complete um, this doctor. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. But, okay, we're going to click Next. I'm going to check your system. Uh, what you'll see here um, in the terminal is that the script is going to be providing you with... Um, you know, updates on everything that's going on with the doctor. Um, so if anything happens, go ahead and check this terminal um, and see what's up. But back to here, because hopefully nothing will happen. Um, make sure you have your pre-connected to your computer. Um, the next button will pop up. And click next. And then it's going to go ahead and um, you know install that doctor. Um, let me go ahead and end the video right here. Um, and once the um, doctor finishes, I'll cut the video back on and you know, show, you, show you what it looks like when the doctor finishes. And, you know, we'll go into how to change the palm build info on your phone um, so that it'll say 2.1. Um, we'll also check our palm profiles to make sure that it says 1.4.5 if you're on a, um, you know, a Sprint Pre-Minus um, and not 9.9.9 .9 because it says 9.9.9 .9 something bad happened, something went wrong. So, and we'll also check to make sure that the um, firmware says um, 1.7 um, in our more info screen. Um, well, I'll tell you how to check that. I, I don't have any way to uh, to block that out on the video, so, um, you know, I'll tell you how to do that. But, yeah, um, see you in a little bit.